people aged 18 to 24 spend a daily average of six hours and one minute online. That's literally like most of the working day and almost half of the whole day. What on earth? I think I saw another cook stat. Here it is. Nearly half of teens say they are online almost constantly, up from 24% a decade ago. So half of teenagers literally live on the internet. <laughs> How can they be on the internet when they're asleep? Are they hooked into it? This is an interesting recent development. So in California, lawmakers have voted on Friday to mandate health warning labels for social media. It says down here somewhere that the US General uh, Surgeon General under former President Joe Biden popularized the idea in a 2024 campaign comparing social media's potentially addictive design to tobacco. So they're going to be putting in tobacco style labels on social media and, and well, requiring that in California now. This is a good start because social media is highly addictive. This video I'm making right now, I'm going to talk about how personality affects all of this because that's really useful for you to know. You need to know what personality traits are a risk factor. So that's the point of this video. So I'm going to be sharing with you two research papers, but really one of them is the real key one for the help to help you understand why basically this is happening. Like what are the personality traits that risk a person to develop these sort of almost addictive habits? Let's do this thing. All right. Here's the title of the paper. It uses a bunch of fancy psychology terms. I'll walk you through what they mean. First, it's really important to recognize that when it says they're problematic internet use, that does not refer to addiction. The, the research paper is very specific in saying this is not a paper on how personality predicts addiction. It's how personality is associated with heavy chronic internet use. When it says here, the big five personality model, this is the most important personality structure thing in psychology to date. So what it means is basically there's five personality domains. Think of it like this. It's five groups of personality traits. So there's five groups and then within the groups, there's six traits. So that makes a total of 30 personality traits. So scientists, we like to just view it at the higher level first and then we can sort down further as we go. So just forget about everything and just think of it as five personality groups, which everybody has, by the way. That's actually really important too. It's five groups that slot in for everybody it's not like oh, you'll have one or the other or two or something it's all five all right so the paper found two personality groups are the biggest risk factors for problematic internet use so here's the first one so the positive relationship found between neuroticism and problematic internet use is also consistent with the scientific literature on this phenomenon individuals who score uh, individuals with high scores on this trait tend to make excessive use not only of the internet but also of other related elements such as smartphones and video games or social networks people with a high level of neuroticism present extreme changes in their mood and high emotional instability in addition they have greater probability of experiencing stressful events in their life as well as greater emotional reactivity to these events due to the use of inadequate coping strategies which can cause different types of mental problems among which addictive behaviors are found all right so let me simplify it for you if you don't understand neuroticism is a personality group of traits that basically try and figure out whether a person experiences a lot of depression and anxiety and anger and other sort of negative emotions right so what the research paper is saying here is that people who experience more depression or more anxiety are also the ones that might be more susceptible to chronic or problematic internet use. I think the paper goes on somewhere else and says why. So I'll just explain why because I remembered it. So the reason, one of the reasons why is because it's theorized that people that are high in neuroticism might use the internet as a way to cope or alleviate stress in their life. You could very loosely maybe describe it as someone that's neurotic might sort of offload stress onto the internet to try and like escape the stressful reality that annoys them. So now we're going to go on to the other personality trait that, or personality group that they found. So the negative association found between problematic internet use and conscientiousness is consistent with the findings of several recent studies. Okay. So conscientiousness is the name of the other big personality group. So let me explain what that is. Here's the definition. 
Finally, conscientiousness has been defined as a set of constructs that describe individual differences in the tendency to have greater self-control and to be orderly, hardworking, and respectful of the rules. So the paper found a negative association. So what that means is that people that are less conscientious, so people that have lower self-control or le are, are, are less likely to follow the rules or be hardworking, might be more at risk of problematic internet use, which kind of makes sense logically if you think about it, right? People that are more impulsive and have less self-control might just doom scroll on TikTok or whatever for hours and hours and hours or six hours as one of the other papers put it. So what are we going to do about this knowledge? And now that I've told you about how personality, which personality traits affect will put you at a higher risk what are we going to do about it well if we know what the cause is we can work on the solution so if we know that the cause or that's i probably can't say cause but maybe if we know what the associations are we can work on the fix right so if the association is anxiety and depression and anger then we work on the anxiety we work on the depression or the anger to reduce problematic internet use if we know that a person doesn't have good self-control or doesn't follow the rules or work hard we look at strategies to increase motivation so one strategy that might increase motivation is setting a productive goal what do you want to do today what do you want to do in a year's time whatever the goal is doesn't matter so it's those kind of things that we need to think about for people that are at risk so i'm going to end the video here i hope you found it interesting and useful to understand a bit more about how personality is associated with product pro problematic internet use thank you for watching and subscribe for more